What's going on folks, Devin Banks here, and we're outside today discussing my top baits that I use in May. It's all coming up. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for my top baits in May. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. So everybody knows about Devin Banks fishing on YouTube. Let's get right into it. Uh, my home lake is Lake St. Clair, and the spawn has definitely been on for the past several weeks. We just had a full moon just past, so we may have a more uh, bass move up to bed, maybe that last phase, but there's been a lot of big fish caught, a lot of fish caught. We've had 50, 75, 100 fish uh, catch days on the water. It's been phenomenal fishing. Uh, the fish have been uh, extremely shallow from uh, 3 to 12 feet of water, crystal clear on these calm, no wind days when you can just really uh, zoom down on the bottom with your flogger, see them on the bed, and, and pick them off. But I really like that end of the spawn phase where you can really catch them uh, on moving baits. And these are some moving baits that I love to use uh, in May that really catches them. It really gets those aggressive fish going and you just love to get that strike uh, instead of you doing that um, sight fishing deal. So these are uh, lures that I use only specifically uh, to catch those aggressive fish that maybe are post spawners, fry garters, uh, maybe still on the bed and the baits uh, come across the bed and they react to it but definitely love to get that reaction bite and these are three baits that I love to use and here they are first bait up is the Berkeley spy that right there is the ghost white color as you can see the front of that has a little bit of uh, blue on it but I love this Berkeley spy a little transparent it all depends on uh, when that Sun hits the water but that ghost white uh, stands out within the water column fits the uh, size of a minnow and they definitely react to it and hit it so I've already uh, broke one of these already because the smallies have just tore it up uh, on the water but I have plenty more to use that's a confidence color for me all season but definitely in May is the ghost white color let's check out another color that I love to use and this is the E G pink right here now this is a color that I specifically use during this time of year in May the fish just love the pink color it stands out in the water column they can't stand it and those smallies definitely react to it so check out those two colors the ghost white and the E G pink in the Berkeley spy another bait that I love to throw uh, on a spinning outfit because this is a super finesse style way of fishing and this is a Berkeley 2.8 power swimmer with a eighth ounce Berkeley swim bait head you pair these together and this is money for smallmouth during this time of year and they just catch multiple multiple amount of fish super sharp hook for that Berkeley fusion uh, 19 uh, swim bait head and this is a bait that is highly durable you see you get eight in the pack but highly durable uh, it all depends on how the fish are hitting it but if you rig it correctly on this uh, jig head right here you're gonna get multiple fish on each swim bait and you're gonna get your money your bang for your buck out of this pack right here one thing I do like to do I like to just dip the tail in chartreuse just a little bit so they have something to focus on that drives them a little bit crazy and they come from a long ways to hit it I've been able to cast this out and see smallies actually dart towards it and hit it and that's an awesome bite as well but this right here is uh, the number two way that I love to catch them in May with the Berkeley Fusion 19 8 ounce swim bait head that pairs up perf perfectly with the 2.8 power swimmer and this is in the color sight flash so and I add a little bit of chartreuse to that tail and that gets them Once again going for that reaction bite and this is the Berkeley power jerk shad this jerk shad and it's in bubble gum 
all right this pink this bubble gum color it dries small mouth crazy this time of year this is a bait that i have tied on pretty much all year long but during this may period this spawn post spawn when they're garden fry they can't stand this uh power uh, jerk shad darting and dancing and sitting still and gliding to the bottom they just annihilate it and they hit it most of the time it's on the fall but this power big jerk shad in this bubble cum color is an awesome color to use during may this is just a color that when i cast it out i can see it from a long distance i count it down to that desired depth that i believe the fish are at and then i start working it slowly back to the boat but when this bait this is in the water column and it's shimmying down and it's floating down that's when they strike so that darting and dancing and jerking that gets their attention but the pause is what really gets them to strike when they see this odd color uh, lure look like a dying bait fish and they strike it so those right there are three baits that I throw in May that are going to definitely uh, get you bit on those smallmouth in that three to uh, probably 12 foot zone it all depends on where you see the fish at but I was catching these fish in, the, in my previous video in about seven to eight feet of water and I was fan casting this particular style of bait and catching a lot of smallmouth uh, caught a couple on the swim bait and the spy bait but this right here that particular day this was a ticket and you can check that out I'll leave a link in the bio so you can go and check that out but this right here is a color that I use specifically in May but also year long but there you have it folks those are three reaction baits that I use in May to catch my smallmouth I am a power fisherman and yes I will get down with the flogger and I will look at those beds and I will catch them on a tube or a drop shot during that particular time but in May when I want to get reaction bait and I want to catch numbers I definitely want to go with these reaction baits of a Berkeley Spy, Berkeley Power Swimmer with an eighth ounce um, Fusion 19 jig head, and that Power Swimmer is in a 2.8 size, very, very small swim bait, and also the Bubblegum Berkeley Jerk Shad. Check those baits out in May if you're ever in a small mouth lake. Those uh, baits, hands down, will catch them. Don't forget, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I'm in the bass basement or on the water or maybe in my backyard. And until then, I'll see you next time.